Hey guys, what's going on? I know it's been a long time since I uploaded the video. Um, I don't know. It, it's hard to explain what's going on with me, uh, but uh, I do think in, in uh, this week I'm going to be uploading more videos. But today I wanted to do a kind of a just a talking a subject kind of thing. That's pretty much what I do anyway. If you hear weird sounds, it's because my son is down here playing with his toys. <laughs> um, uh, cash. Um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about the evolution of Slipknot and the music they've got out now. I just got them listening to a reaction video to uh, Unsainted uh, and All Out Life, I think, was ca came out. So, you know, when I heard Slipknot for the first time, I was blown away. I was, I was super blown away. Uh, I was super into them. But I think the first album was... You liked it. <laughs> There's like quacking sounds on the side. It's really funny. Um, but you get into it. You got into it. But I think after about a year, it started to get kind of old. When Iowa came out, I think really that was the epitome. And people were like, okay, Slipknot serious. They're actually a really good band. And I want to stick around to follow them. Now, I'm going to get lost in a few minutes because I didn't really follow them past a certain album. But at this point, they kind of stopped putting out any new music because that, that was a, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of music to put out on these two albums. So they toured a long time and they put out a live CD, I think, at some point and eventually got to Volume 3, uh, Subliminal Versus, which was a great album. It, it was... Starting to see the decline of sort of some of the earlier Slipknot fans kind of get bored with them um, because this had been, I think, the first Stone Sour CD had dropped before this. So people started to question whether Corey was going to bring over uh, the influ uh, like the music that Stone Sour was doing and start meshing it into Slipknot. Um, I don't necessarily think that has happened. It's What has happened has pretty much been that people see that now. If Stone Sour had never come to be, I think we still would have got the music that we do right now. <clears throat> but it also opened up Corey to go, hey, maybe I could add this to Slipknot, I think, and make it better to where, you know, more fans will come in that maybe are Stone Sour fans. So maybe, yes, he did do it for that reason, but I think all in all, it also makes Slipknot more of a well-rounded band. That, you know, maybe not only is new metal, but can kind of influence and have the kind of metal vibe. Kind of the power metal vibe a little bit. Not power metal, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> but that came out. Now, their other albums came out. And I wasn't a huge, huge uh, fan. I've listened to the albums. Now, I know uh, I just now got All Hope Is Gone, which I believe might have been the one after Volume 3, but I could be wrong. Um, I, I, I'm messing. After that, I didn't really follow them. After the Volume 3, I kind of lost track. It's just because I, I, I was growing up and life was happening and things were happening. You know, I had kids and things like that. And I just didn't really follow music as much as I, as I did back in the day. Um, but uh, I did get All Hope Has Gone recently. I found that Goodwill. That was freaking awesome. And... My opinion of All Hope Is Gone is it's probably one of the worst albums I've heard um, of Slipknot. And some people think it's the the best, but in my opinion, I think Iowa is the best Slipknot album that they have. Um, and then right behind that is probably the original. Um, I haven't heard the one, Chapter 5. I think it's Chapter 5. Yeah, so that Chapter 5 would be the fifth album, right? There. Um and a new album coming out, which I don't know if it's out yet or not. I don't think it is, but it's getting ready to. Um, but Chapter 5, I think, is actually pretty good. I haven't... I, I don't own that album yet, so I'm looking to try and find that cheap at some point and get it so I can listen to it. But I do think that that album was pretty good. Um, it had decent amount of songs on it. But I would still think that it's probably number three on the list, if anything. But All Hope and Gone, it, it, it's okay. I might end up selling it. Um, at some point, because it's not the greatest album, 
uh, that I seen. <laughs> My son's being funny. Um, what? Uh, and it, you know, it's just uh, well, hi. Hold on, I have to put you put get my son up here. Oh, here we go. But um, Slipknot has been, you know, pretty much a favorite of mine. Now I followed Corey and I've watched interviews with him and everything like that. Um, but you know, things are just there's nobody in there, buddy. <laughs> he thinks I'm talking to his mom or something. Um, but Slipknot is always going to be one of my bands that I follow. And uh, without a doubt, I'll always continue to know that they're going to put out good music and things like that. Um, but <laughs> you're being silly. Um, but yeah. The evolution of Slipknot, though, really has seen us really see it. And, um, I don't know really, really know what to think about that. The masks are the other thing I was going to talk about, is that the masks have gotten really, really weird. Um, and with all the members changing and everything, I'm not going to talk about that. Egos happen. I, I made a video a long time ago that I really want to re-upload to the, the channel. And redo it as my son wanders off. I'll have to go chase him in a minute. <laughs> well, I couldn't have in my life as a dad of a one-year-old. Um, anyways, but, you know, I understand as, you know, it, it's about egos. And sometimes egos get in the way. You know, business happens. You know, they're trying to make money. And they're also trying to be artistic. And then they're also trying to keep their friends, which... AKA in the band, people in the band with you, you know, you're trying to be friends with these people and things like that. And I would think at some point, if you, if the band that you're in becomes a business venture, is it really art anymore? I mean, that, that's the thing about that. You know, if, if you're an old school band and you don't have your original singer anymore, that's kind of rough because if you get a 20 something person to come on board that, you know, is, is hot off of a reality show or something or was in a previous band and they broke up. You're trying to garner some kind of attention from that singer, but is it going to work? Is, is the business venture going to be worth the rest of your friends in your band, you know, still being a part of this, you know, or keeping the same name, you know, uh, the Slipknot, the evolution, it, it's, it's been kind of crazy ride to think how they came out. You know, Corn Limp Biscuit was doing their thing. The music scene started to change, and here came Slipknot, and they just shook everything up. And I remember Jack Osborne was one of the first ones that started talking about them on mainstream TV, and then from then on out, they were everywhere. Jack Osborne, I think, opened the can of worms because I think if he would never have mentioned their name on MTV or something like that, they would never be anything. I, I'll, that's my opinion. That's my that era would have took them a little bit longer to get to where they were, um, because that's the first time I heard their name was in Jack o come out of Jack, Jack Osborne's mouth um, on MTV, I think, or, or VH1, whatever. Um, but I'm kind of surprised by that, and you know, and I also think he said something about that on MTV, like an interview or something about what bands he was into or something at the time. And he said, yo, I'm listening to this band named Slipknot from Iowa or something like that. And, um, uh, but yeah, to see where they've come and the new mask, Corey's new mask is very, very odd, very weird. Um, it almost looks like a woman's mask with like a black mark across. That's what it looks like to me. It's just kind of weird. Um, I don't really what to think about his mask and everybody else's is really just, I seem like they're pretty much all the same, except they're just a little bit changed a little bit, which is not bad. I think they've gotten to the point now to where the next album that comes on after this one that comes out, I wouldn't be surprised if they just take them off, take them off and done with the whole mask gimmick because I think they, they run that into the ground and this time was a little less like nobody cares now. So 
I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, which, which would be chapter, it would be six, six, seven. So number seven, maybe they just take them off, take them off and they won't wear the masks anymore. Um, seems kind of pointless now after all these albums. And I mean, if people are going to like them, they're going to like them now for whatever reason. You know, even if, you know, they don't look the prettiest or whatever the reason, you know, artistically. Um, I, I don't know. I, that or just bring back original masks or bring back whichever mask they want to wear. They can just wear whatever. That'd be kind of cool, you know, especially if, you know, Slipknot could go, or he could go back to, you know, just a funky mask or something like that. Honestly, I think they all should be kind of in clown, kind of a scary mask or something. I think that'd be cool. Um, anyways, like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Let me know about what you think about the evolution of Slipknot and what you think uh, they they bring to the metal community and what they've done. A lot of people don't like Slipknot because they, they did a whole new metal thing, uh, you know, but I, I think they've always been interesting throughout their evolution and um, kind of interested to see where they're going. They're sort of starting to mm, downward trend and other bands are starting to pick up, I think, some of their fans. Um, but I do think they still got their hardcore following and the hardcore followers will continue to follow them. Um, and I think a lot of people, they may say that they're, they're not following them anymore, but they still pay attention because deep down they they enjoy those first two albums. So anyways, like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. I'll catch you guys later. Keep rocking and keep on listening to Slipknot. Later.